Hey guys, it's Games HD here, and today I have a video for you guys on WWE 2K16, and we are going to play um, WrestleMania Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins, and this video is going to be about how to do the curm stomp into Arceo. So. Just to make it shorter, curb stomp into Arceo. I am using two controllers. You don't have to use two controllers. So when I so I'm playing as Randy on to try and get like his finisher. Um, then I'm gonna play as Seth Rollins. So I'm doing the two controllers because I think it's actually easier. Um, so I think it will be easier for me. But in in some ways, um, you don't have to use two controllers. But I've done this before, but I haven't done it on camera. So I'm gonna do it here for you guys. Uh, I know like oh, a lot of you know how to do this, but I'm doing this cause I just wanna, you know, post the video and see how people, how, to, how people do it and like stuff like that. So as we, as we hear, it is extreme rules match. I did put it WrestleMania, but I did not know the form, like the actual match when they actually versed in real life. So I just put the extreme rules. Here we, we nearly have Randy Orton as he's about to get his signature. So Fonians has been getting really damaged. Could go up here. In this way, using two controllers, I don't know if it's shorter or longer, but for me, I just think it's shorter because it's easier. That controller is probably like harder, so that's why I haven't, you know, been doing it now. I'm gonna switch controllers, then I'm gonna. So once he has his finisher, I'm gonna take him back up. Then it's just going to be me doing the the work, and I'm not going to trigger the finisher. So now it's Seth Rollins' turn to do what all he has to do to Randy Orton. So this is how I'm just going to do it because I just think it's easier. Like I could, you know, get like a he'll be right, my controller he dropped. Um, what you could do actually. To make it even faster, you can like, because it's extreme rules, that's why I put extreme rules, you can get stuff from the thing. Why is it not working? L1? Okay, it's not working from there, maybe here. Just get, maybe like, get the bats. Right. Once you have hit Randy Orton, like, many times and stuff. See, it gets faster. Right. So what you're going to do to Randy Orton is just going to beat him out. But they sometimes this two controllers where is actually bad because you could use your finisher if you're getting really beaten up, like uh, if you're getting bullied in the ring. So you need you need to be very careful how you use your moves. That was nice. That was a nice disagree. So I'm just warning you guys for that because it could get into a hassle here right we've got our signature all right come on come on come on come on come on so we're gonna do this now you see we're gonna try and do the curm stomp yeah gonna turn him over and this is where, if you're doing it with two controllers, you need to be quick. Why is it not working? Well, I'd put him, I'd put him near without. I wouldn't put him near the bat because maybe the bat will make. Oh well. Right. Take him down again. Stay down. Doesn't want to stay down. Okay. I'm gonna have to. If sorry about the screen, I actually need to fix this TV. If it it might it might not affect you right now. It could. And if it does, sorry for that. 
But at least like, you can see the people clearer. Well, clear. Not clearer. But. Oh, God. Shoot! Wait, just bring him inside. Okay, there we go. Come on. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take him down again. See, this is why you need to be quick. Do you see that? Boom! Did you see that? You see that? You need to be fast. There you go, RKO. And then you get the one, two three so that is how you do the curb stomp into the rko you want to talk about crowd pleasing i'm not sure if you can do it with one controller but i did it with two so it's just easy for me i hope you guys took that advice or you might know this advice already but I'm just warning, I'm just made, I made some good information about doing it with two controllers. Um, so, if people have not experienced it, you should tell them, oh look, look at this, can't stop and talk here. Thanks for watching, bye.